Buy me the game, you idiot. <laughs> You're not making my money. Once again, there are things to rightfully criticize Elden Ring for, whether it be a shitty online mode or the shitty PC ports. But whatever the case may be, there are some out there who just triggered for the fact that Elden Ring gets a better score on Metacritic. And that's basically it. But today we're going to be talking about Malcolm. Now granted, this is not the first time I tackled Malcolm before. Let's just say my first response of him was experimental, to say the least. But this time, his video was rather tame compared to his last video I covered on his channel, which makes me boil, boil some blood of mine. But with that being said, let's have some fun. That's disturbing. What's up guys, it's Malcolm, I'm back with another video, and today, man... Do you have to spass out your camera every time you introduce yourself to your viewers? Seems kinda unnecessary if you ask me. Elden Ring, somebody needs to buy me this game right now because I have to play it. Because this game is getting like 10 out of 10s and stuff. But I also wanna come on here and say this is kinda skeptical. Because who the hell is reviewing... Um, care to repeat that? Who the hell is reviewing? Who the hell is reviewing? Who the hell is reviewing? Today, Junior? Who the hell is reviewing? Who the hell is reviewing? Nope. Still couldn't get it memorized. Giving this game a 10 out of 10, a game cannot be a 10 out of 10. It simply can't. Oh, does it hurt because it's the truth? You are just a baby. There's no way a game can be 10 out of 10. This game is trash. Actually, I don't want to say that yet, but... The fact that you bums are already comparing this game to Horizon Forbidden West says a lot. You know what I'm saying? Because Horizon Forbidden West is one of the most popular games out right now, and you guys are hating. Is it one of the most popular games of the recent decade? Maybe. But is it more popular than Elden Ring? No, not really. You're just hating the fact that one of the games is slightly more popular than the others. And Elden Ring just happens to be one of those popular games that just happens to overshadow your favorite game. Sorry to tell you this, but you just need to, like, um, suck it up. I'm saying it's like every day you bums wake up with hate in your blood. You just wake up with hate. It's ridiculous. Oh. Did you get that? No! That's why you were the bum hating on the popular kid in high school. And I'm saying the popular kid was getting all the girls. He was getting all the goddamn, you know, muscle. And I'm saying he had a nice car. Everybody liked him. And you were sitting in the corner crying. That's how Horizon Forbidden West feels right now. Horizon Forbidden West is that popular kid right now. Getting hated by all the stupid PC nerd, you know, bums who only play goddamn indie games and jack off the anime. Huh? I'm sensing a bit of jocks versus nerds rhetoric on this guy when he's ranting about Horizon Forbidden West is better than Elden Ring. I was like, what is with the fucking analogies with this shit? My god. I'm sorry, that was just hilarious to me. Uh, and why is does jocks versus nerds mentality have to do with Elden Ring having a higher medic critic score. Like, I know I'm a bit stuttering for this, but there are a lot of issues you need to sort it out yourself, man. That's what's happening right now. Elden Ring, these type of games, is trash. The, the, this is the stupid bummy nerd games. Nerd! A bummy weird bunch of nerds. <laughs> the cringe! The uh, okay, okay, enough of the nerd facade of mine. In all seriousness, apparently we're a bunch of nerds for liking Elden Ring, according to this guy's own logic. If I had a heart, this would be where I'd die of laughter. 
You know what I'm saying? You know, people who play games like Elden Ring think that Call of Duty is ruining gaming and that Call of Duty is is for casuals. You know, that word casual, man. I love that word casual because that's the word those bums keep using all the time when somebody doesn't play a boring 2D platformer with a trash story that people only freaking make steers about and this, that, and the third. That's what y'all love. Those boring games that are sad and 2D platformers with trash graphics made by a dude in the goddamn basement in freaking Germany or something. Okay. Those are the games you bummy nerds like. Instead of Call of Duty and, and big AAA games. AAA is a big scary word to you guys. And the only AAA game you guys are playing is goddamn Elden Ring and it's embarrassing. Elden Ring is trash, but somebody needs to buy me that game because I have to see what it's like. You know what I'm saying? You do know people can like other genres of games, right? Not everyone has to like like Call of Duty or Horizon Forbidden West or something. But I have no idea why you're against casual games as well. I mean, take it from me. Just because I like a few Souls titles doesn't mean it will be inherently wrong with me trying out casual games. I mean, I don't think casual games are bad as much, it's just I like to provide a little challenge. Now, there ain't nothing wrong with casual games, it's just I just prefer a challenge. But sure, go off queen. You guys can call me a troll all you want. Oh my gosh, how's he gonna say Elden Ring is trash, but then you want somebody to buy the game? The queen! The queen! Is it not what you want? Like, you want me to say it's trash and then we'll actually play the game and see what I actually think afterwards, but I still think that I'll think it's trash afterwards anyway. Okay, I'm a little confused here. First, you say the game sucks, but at the same time, you want to get the game by getting someone else to get the game for you, and you... Wow, I just lost so many brain cells that day. But somebody needs to buy me that game, man. I've been providing content. Griffin Gaming, buy me this game on Steam. Give me the game, bro. Oh, he can't resist calling his sugar daddy. But in all seriousness, Griffin Gaming is not gonna buy the game for you just because you demanded it. How about you spend it with your own money instead of your parents' wallets? Somebody buy me the game, bro. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I'm not putting my wallet on the goddamn table for this goddamn game. I'm sorry I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do that. They don't deserve my money. They don't deserve the hard-earned money that I make. They don't deserve it. Somebody else needs to pay. I'm sorry. You mean your parents' money. After all the content I provided you for free, you know what I'm saying? I don't even put ads on these goddamn videos. You guys are watching these for free. Because you can't? because your channel is not even monetized yet. Like, there is a thing. You can't monetize your channel when you have under 1,000 subs. YouTube doesn't work like that, you fool. I'm saying, I'm giving you guys content. I'm saying, you guys are my fans. I love you guys. Everybody who likes and watches my videos, you are a fan. You are, you are loved. I'm saying, you are loved. I'm saying, so buy me the game right now, okay? You are loved, okay? You are love, so buy me the game, guys. No. I'm not paying for this game. But, uh, yeah, Elden Ring, uh, here's my little review on this game. This game is trash. There's no way this game has a Metacritic must-play. The game's not even out. Look, here's We're gonna the thing. This is I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. The game sucks, but yet you never played it? That doesn't make sense to me. How the flying fuck... Can you review a game without even playing the game first? I think your credibility is flown way out of the window for this one. But then again, we're dealing with a very low IQ person. They definitely had to buy reviews because there's no way. How does this game have a must play? Come on, you know why. Come on now. It's the same generic Souls game over and over again. It happens all the time. Yeah, about the Dark Souls franchise, the reason why they're popular is mainly due to the gameplay rather than the story. I mean, there is some story, but...
people mostly played Dark Souls mainly for the gameplay and nothing else. That's why the other video game companies that once to took inspiration from the Dark Souls franchise. Let's see, for example, the Surge franchise, the Neo franchise, Lords of the Fallen, Rampant from the Ashes, even Blasphemous. I can go on and on, sir, but I think you get the general idea. Literally, these are the same old games over and over again. Dark Souls is so overrated, it's incredible. These games are the same over and over again. And he's gonna repeat the same statements about Dark Souls being overrated, so skip. The only reason why these games are popular, and please don't deny this because you know it's the truth, the only reason why these games are popular is because of the difficulty. You throw a goddamn normal mode in this game, this game is generic and boring and thrown in the trash and forgotten. Promise you that. Promise you that. Throw a goddamn normal mode. Bandai Namco knows damn well they do not want to throw a normal mode in this game because they know the series will flop. This difficulty is the only goddamn reason why these games are relevant. I'm sorry, it's the truth. You have to admit it. I mean, nobody has ever denied that. And no shit, the dip higher difficulty is what makes the Soul games so popular. Because they provide a challenge. And some people prefer a challenge instead of boring, easy game because they might get bored to death. Trust me, I'm one of those people. But I don't understand why you're trying to paint higher difficulty as a bad thing. Like, it's really nothing new. I mean, come on, it was just a critic score. If you want to enjoy the game, then just play the game. Like, I don't understand why you have to make a big deal out of this. I have to be the one to say it. It's the only reason why these games are relevant. If this game had a normal difficulty or easy difficulty, dead in the water, wouldn't make it past Dark Souls 1 or Demon Souls, because that's the first one. Wouldn't make it past Demon Souls. Nobody would care. Nobody would buy it. They call it a generic goddamn action-adventure game with trash graphics, by the way. You are made of stupid. How does Elden Ring have terrible graphics? I mean, that was my major gripe with this video. Now granted, this game does have performance issues, I'm fully aware of that. But at least the update patch fixes that whole issue altogether, so that problem is no longer an issue entirely. Also, adding a easier difficulty will probably ruin this game's popularity and kind of defeat the whole purpose of Souls games entirely because the whole purpose of it is to trying to prevail and perseverance no matter how difficult it may seem keep trying over and over until you eventually beat it with due to your determination that's the whole appeal of the Souls franchise or any Soulsborne or Souls-like games in general. You know what I'm saying? Put in easy mode, and then you got trash graphics on the, on top of that, and generic sword play. You got a boring game! Okay, now you're just repeating yourself, which forces me trying to repeat myself over and over again, so we're just gonna skip this one. I'm saying the only reason why these games are popular is because of the difficulty, the graphics. Do I really need to explain this? Okay, I'm just gonna fast forward a little bit until he tells us three reasons why he thinks Dark Souls sucks. But there is one clip I had to highlight. You're not gonna believe what I'm about to show you. You know what I'm saying? The story, there's like no story. They don't explain anything. It's just boring and just weird and cryptic. Nobody cares. That's why there's so many lore videos. People don't actually know the story in this game. They're just making stuff up. The world is boring, nobody cares, it's generic, it's dark, boring, sword this, sword that. You know what I'm saying? People call this an RPG. This is nothing like Skyrim. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing like that. They're all linear and boring. These games are not good. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Okay, there are three things wrong with those statements. Firstly, the game is not going to hold your hand for you. 
and give you the nice little story? No, you have to go out throughout the game and explore the story there. That's why it's called environmental storytelling. Secondly, Skyrim is not the only RPG in the existence of gaming. Trust me, I, I know plenty of RPGs myself. RPGs are my bread and butter, and I can name a few. There's a SMT franchise, there's a Persona series, there's a Kingdom Hearts franchise, there's a game called Yakuza Like a Dragon, and there's a game Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I think I can go on and on, but I think we're going to be here all day. Let's just say, for example, I'm playing Pokemon Shining Pearl version, and I enjoyed the turn-based combat. What's that? Pokemon is not like Skyrim? Whoopsie! It's not an RPG! See how stupid you sound? And thirdly, the graphics don't mean jack shit when it comes to Souls titles. I think mostly for the gameplay over graphics, for the most part. I don't think graphics are, are as important as the gameplay nowadays. I think gamers are focused way too much about the graphics rather than gameplay. That's why the Cyberpunk 2077 were fucking garbage. Um, but yeah, man, it's just ridiculous how you bums want to compare this game to Horizon. Like, there are so many other games and you had to pick Horizon to compare it to? For why? For why? Why would you compare that? That's ridiculous. Um, maybe that's because both of these games were released the exact same year? I thought it was obvious, but apparently that's not the case. By your shoes. But yeah, man, you guys always gotta pick on the popular kid, because you're the loser who gets no friends and sits in the corner and jerks off. That's what you are. You gotta hate on the popular kid. You know what I'm saying? He is there making it up. Getting all the girls, got a nice car, got the muscles, and you're sitting there in the corner judging him? <laughs> Elden Ring is trash. Elden Ring is garbage. Actually, I'm talking to you, Griffin Game, and I know you, man. You got all of those good grades in high school, but you had no friends. Nobody cared about you. And I'm saying grades don't matter. This doesn't matter. This number doesn't matter. What matters is the world outside. And that's what Horizon provides. Horizon provides the greatness. Horizon provides the haptics, the goddamn feedbacks and stuff. You know what I'm saying? No. The game and the world outside are not compatible with each other. I was gonna say anything, but I think this clip best describes you. Yeah, you really need to touch grass. You got... It's ridiculous, man, but Elden Ring is trash, Horizon is better, I'm sorry. It's just better, man. Yeah, I'm gonna have to press X to doubt on that shit. And the fact that some of you guys can't take that fact, like if someone says Horizon is better than Elden Ring, you guys actually get mad, it's ridiculously sad. It really, really, really is. It's embarrassing. But, but yeah, man, leave a like, subscribe, do what you need to do, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Griffin Gaming, buy me the game. Somebody buy me the game on Steam. Just, just, just give me the game. I'm saying, uh, Griffin Gaming, I know you, like, make some money off these <clears throat> Xbox all the time. I, Xbox all the time, they always go on your stream and give you, like, hundreds of dollars because they just can't cope with the fact that the goddamn, uh, Xbox is trash. They go on your, your stream and think that sending you a hundred dollars is gonna help them cope with the fact that the Xbox is trash. I know it. Just throw some money on, on my way, you know what I'm saying, to Steam for Tanga Play. Somebody just buy me the game on Steam so I can play it. Um, I got a new PC, so I'll be able to play it now because I got a graphics card. Ah, uh, once again, he brought up his Sugar Daddy Griffin and gave me all together, yes. Once again, he's not going to buy the game for you, stupid. Also, what? how many Sugar Daddies do you have? First Griffin Gaming and now Fonga Plays? I'm starting to assume that you're a fucking gold digger at this point. But yeah. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, do what you need to do, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Uh, you said that already! Um, buy me the game right now.
It is not even a request. I'm literally... I, this is a demand. Buy me the game. I'm not even kidding. I'm not. I'm. I'm not even kidding. Buy me the game. Literally, buy me the game. How? Why can't you guys afford to buy me a game? No, actually, serious question. I'm gonna sit here and and ask you that question. Why can't you afford to buy me a game? Why are you guys poor? Can you not? Do you guys not have a job or something? Just buy me the game. Simply put, I'm sorry. Just buy me the game. Aw, Malcolm, um, it's not that we're too poor to afford the game. It's just you're not worth 60 bucks like a little cheapskate you truly are. I hate to break it to you, but get your own fucking game. You fucking cheapskate. Oh, I wish the video would just end there, but unfortunately, we have a few minutes left of his stupidity about him e-bagging Eldering. Meanwhile, he thinks that game sucks even though he rarely played it. But if you feel like I'm putting his words out of context, I'll try to put the video link in description in case you want to see it for yourself and draw with your own conclusions. But yeah, this whole video was absolute garbage. Not enough to literally boil my blood, but just enough to to the point that I just make fun of it. Also his take of Elden Ring kinda garbage too, not gonna lie. He's totally missing the point of the Souls games in general, not just Elden Ring. But, with that being said, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you do leave a like, subscribe if you're new to my channel, follow me on social media, and hit the notification bells for my future videos. I make gameplay content more often, that much is obvious, and sometimes I put commentary videos and memes here and there, but overall, I make Let's Plays for the most part for my main channel. With that being said, see you all later, real soon. Alright, take care. Oh brother, this guy stinks!